We've assisted DB Cooper investigator Tom K in securing the technology needed to scan particles left on the discarded necktie of the notorious Skyjacker. The hope to answer the million dollar question, who is DB Cooper? Please tell me that the results show something interesting. You bet they do. Really? Absolutely. Fantastic results. Awesome. So what specifically showed up? So we have representations here in these little vials. OK. So this is cerium. It's a rare earth element. And lanthanum is another one. Uh, this is yttrium. OK. And this one is mercury. Mercury. So these rare earth elements, in 1971, what, what would these things be used for? Well, we start with the most unusual of those, which is the rare earth element yttrium. Okay. What's the most common use for yttrium in 1971? It turns out it's the red phosphor in TV screens. Huh. 23 out of the 26 particles we found are related to production of CRT tubes. It doesn't have to be television, right? I mean, it's... It's, it's the cathode ray tube that's used in televisions, but right. it's also used in other things, like in the military, they would use it for radar screens. In instruments, they would use it for, like, oscilloscope screen. So these cathode ray tubes are, are found in lots of different products. Right. And so, based on what you find on the tie, who is this guy? So it strongly suggests that he's in the manufacturing world of CRT tubes. So, I mean, that, in a lot of ways, really wipes the slate clean of a lot of these previous suspects. Well, for a lot of people that are championing those suspects, yes, it's a real problem because this evidence suggests strongly he's from a very advanced manufacturing environment. Wow.